here's this morning's lineup. up welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome today I'm gonna be doing a tour of my MFA studio here at school let's jump right into it so this is the main part of the building this is where they have all of the painting classes all along this wall are the graduate studios this is my studio she's cute right when you walk in there's my desk this is my painting station, and then this is my relaxing station. Behind me is a door, and whoever had the studio before me left two hooks, which was very nice. I just hang a sweater that I have and my bags. All right, starting off on this wall. Here I just have paper pinned to the wall. It came in a roll, and so I needed to just flatten. So I had it pinned on each side, but now at this point it's basically flat. I don't know what this is from. I just have it here. Okay. On my bookshelf, I just have a lot of art books. I have David Hockney book, Chef's Kiss. I have German Expressionism, random, but I have it. I definitely want like a giant library of art books. She's slowly grown. Next, I have this bin. It just has a bunch of stuff in it. All right, this bin that I have, it has my projector. That's literally a dinosaur projector. Some cords, some pencil cases filled with just like color pencils and charcoal. And then I have some sketchbooks here and some like drawing paper. Over here, I just have random, random books. They're just like, this is a kid's coloring book. I don't know why I have that. More kids. I think I found these in my garage. <sighs> the bottom shelf. I don't have much on the bottom shelf. This, I have bins with just random stuff in them. This, I just have like more paper that I never use and see, cause it was curved. This is how curved the paper was and it wasn't sticking to the wall. Command strips, these are a must in these studio spaces. Uh, another piece of paper, oh my God. Family photos. This is me. Nothing's changed, honestly. A to-do list, which I have yet to use, and I got this like five years ago. Watercolor palette. It's a small one. Tiny. A nice cube tray. And then a bandana. Next, over here. This is just work that I have accumulated over this past semester. This was like a series that I did for a show that we had. It's fun. This was a fun series. I'm still doing these little pieces. Well, obviously, because I just did one. My last video. This was like one of the first tiny pieces that I did. Random paper, some drawings. See, I just throw my stuff, which is annoying to some people. This is the archive. This is like some of my first oil paintings that I did that I just don't show anyone and I hide deep on that lower shelf. God, I don't even know what happened to this one. Something happened. She <laughs> looks like she got ran over, I don't know. This is like some of the first, the early works. They all start somewhere, I guess. This is still one of my favorites, honestly. This was actually the very first piece I did. I think, I wanna say, I could be lying. I'm probably lying, but, but yeah. That's what's on the last shelf here. Now we're gonna move on to my desk. My desk is a mess, as you can see. This desk was in here when I moved into the studio, which was nice, cause it's a pretty heavy duty desk. I actually usually don't keep this many things on my desk. Usually it's just the stuff that's along the wall. This is a fan that I bought off of Amazon that was pretty expensive, but it really does not work. It sucks. 
These are just pens, pencils, ibuprofen, must have. I need this literally throughout the day. These are also very important, especially in school. You're always constantly pinning up your work. Another must have. I just have random, random stuff in here. Like, I just, this was from some huge piece that I had done. Use these beads as reference. This is my bulletin board that I have. That's me. Look at me. <laughs> Moving on. This is my tape station. I just have a bunch of different rolls of tape, including the electrical tape that I bought. I'm not gonna address what's under my desk because I just hate the fact that there's stuff under there. But I will address my mini fridge that has something very important. And that is my last two midday squares. These are so good. Anyway, I'm gonna have one later. Moving on to this wall, clock. Very important, always have to make sure I'm on time to classes. This is a podium that I stole from outside. This is a painting I did last video. I haven't taken it down. Then I have an air purifier. I use this whenever I oil paint. Painting station. Normally, this is not here. Normally, this is over here. Don't know why I put it here last time I was painting, but I got like a, this solvent-free fluid all over this so now that's gonna be fun to clean i have to clean my painting palette anyway but that's not gonna be fun this is where i keep my my lavender brush cleaner this when i discovered this it was like a godsend i i've never had anything clean my brushes better than this it's like a little there's like a little thing inside like this metal thing that you push down when you're cleaning your brushes it takes all the paint off genius then i just have all of my paint brushes here under here is a mess. It's like the acrylic painting graveyard. I don't really use acrylic paint. I only use it for the base of my paintings. Over here, I have extra raw canvas. Some of these are paintings. I have paper here. Just a bunch of things that I can paint on, honestly. So that all lives under here at the bottom of my cart. And I got, I actually got this cart from Amazon. No, Amazon. Why did I say Amazon? I, that's such a lie. I got this from Ikea. It's a pretty good cart, honestly. And then... I also use a glass base for oil painting. Trash can. These two stools I took from outside of this room. I usually use this stool to paint. I sit and paint on that one when I'm doing the little pieces here. This little one just kind of travels around. Chair, Ikea. And then my two mirror domes. I usually use these for my TikTok. They're fun. I also take my Instagram stories on here sometimes. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the studio. Now I think I'm going to start a piece. I want to start a big piece, but... I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish it at the end of this video. So I guess we'll see. <laughs> the piece involves all of these things. So I need to photograph this so that I could have a reference to then paint.
Today's Monday. I'm gonna paint. I'm not gonna finish this painting today or in this video probably because it's, this is probably gonna take me the rest of the week to paint, but I'm gonna try to get a lot done today. Hopefully my paint isn't dry from Friday. I don't think it is, but there's a good chance that it is. So let's get to, let's get to painting. <laughs> So that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed watching it and enjoyed my little tour. Stay tuned for the next video and yeah. <laughs>